Okay, listen up. Right after today's digital life hack, we've got a weekend call from the Kim Commando Show. You're going to love it. If you like free stuff, you're going to love the Buy Nothing Project groups on Facebook, Nextdoor, or inside the official app. I'm Kim Commando, America's Digital Pro. Look around your home. I'm sure you have things that you no longer want or use. In a Buy Nothing group, you post pictures of what you'd like to give away, and you can also make requests for things. The rules of Buy Nothing groups, no selling, trading, or buying. Everything is free. I checked my local Buy Nothing group and found furniture, baby clothes, and a sewing machine up for grabs. When you see something you want, just say so in the comments. Things are given out on a first-come, first-served basis. You can download the Buy Nothing Project app in the Apple or Google Play Store, but you don't have to. Simply search Facebook using the phrase Buy Nothing in the name of your town. You can also find similar posts on the Nextdoor app. Remember safety, though. Since the free stuff is usually at someone's home, don't go pick it up alone. Always bring a friend. If you're not tech ahead, you'll be tech left behind. Get my free newsletter at getkim.com. Hey, have you heard about The Current? It's this amazing free tech newsletter that keeps you in the loop about everything. AI, making money, and insider tips to get ahead at work and life. Everything is tech now. I can't afford to fall behind, and neither can you. In just five minutes a day, that's it. The Current makes it so easy to stay ahead without feeling overwhelmed. Join half a million people at getthecurrent.com. It's free. Don't be left behind. That's getthecurrent.com. Sign up now. Getthecurrent.com. Yes, another brilliant call from my weekend show. You're going to love it. Here it is. Uh, Robin in Richmond, Virginia. Hi, Robin. Hi, how are you today? Good. What's going on? Okay, you, you're probably going to laugh at me, but I have been listening to motivational and like meditation, um, like videos at night. Mm-hmm. You know, what, to help you sleep? Ear, yes. Okay. And I use one called Abide, uh, and it's, you know, it's biblical, it, you know, it goes over Bible verses, and I thought, oh, this is good. I can get my Bible study in for the day, <laughs> fall, <you> know, <laughs> fall asleep. This is great. This is yeah, fabulous. This is great. I mean, you know, you're so funny. Uh, that's, that's, <laughs> see, and then, no, okay, you know, maybe I've been doing this all wrong, Robin. Is that, I mean, I've been trying to listen to Bible in a year when I'm putting on my makeup and getting ready in the morning, okay? I didn't yeah. think of listening to it while I was going to sleep, but then I could get the Bible <laughs> verse in and sleep at the same time. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. But let me tell you what has happened. Every time I listen to them, I have horrible nightmares. God is talking to you. God is talking to you. God is saying, Robin, do your Bible verses in the morning. (laughs) Can there be subliminal messages in these meditation things we've listened to? You know, I mean, you know, subliminal messages, they are meant to be perceived subconsciously. Okay. Right. And, you know, I, I, I think I looked at the video. You did, because you sent me an email, and I looked at the video. Uh, it's yeah. a really big channel. I didn't realize how I think they have one over a million subscribers on that. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I would find it hard to believe that there's something in that particular meditational Bible verse that is saying, you know, Robin, you're going to go to the deep darkness and, right. uh, you know, you're going to fall off the Titanic and Leonardo DiCaprio is not going to be there to save you. Oh, right? well, dang. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you know. but, um, well, but, I mean, what you could do, what you could do is you could look at a transcript, right? Okay. Uh, of the video. And basically, you go to YouTube. There's a, that three-dot menu, the more menu. Correct. And okay. then there's an option that says open the transcript. Uh, just about okay. every YouTube video has that, but the but the person who uploads the video has to enable the transcript to happen. Okay. Okay. Uh, you could always just feed that audio into another AI tool, like otter.ai. You'd have to download the audio oh, and then do that. Uh, there are audio okay. analysis tools that may be able to help, but uh, if I were you, I would just find a new... 
find a new channel, find something new. Maybe, you know, maybe there's something in the story. Maybe there's something in the person's tone, the inflection, the music that just doesn't operate for you on that right frequency. Uh, I just, you know, I didn't really see anything that stood out that this was kind of like, oh, this is kind of like a weirdo type thing that, yeah, maybe there could be. I didn't see that in the video that you sent me uh, or that you mentioned in your email to me. Uh, so I would just probably just find something else. Try Calm. I don't know if you tried that. That's a Calm app. That's that's pretty good too. There's several of them out there. Uh, who's the one that I use? Oh, Insight Timer. That's another one. Hey, major thanks for giving me your listening time today. And if a tech question is just gnawing at you, don't keep it to yourself. Share it with me. Hop on over to commando.com and hit email Kim. I read every single note. Now, in a digital world, you need to stay up to date. That's why you need my free daily newsletter. You can sign up right now over at getkim.com. That's getkim.com.